Hello, hello! How you doing? What's up? Welcome to another episode of Talk and Moment. Yeah, I'm absolutely crazy sometimes. My name is Toka Makingwa and we do this every Wednesday. So this is me without all of the weaves. This is all me. Yeah. Not all of it, yeah. I wish I could just lie to you guys that it was all of it. I have my hair up in like a bun, a very untidy one at that. Because this week I'm rocking uh, a ponytail. And I hardly ever go out without weaves. And I'll tell you why. Because my hair is very thin, as you can see. And I've done every single thing. Tell me what it is I have done. It's Jamaican coconut oil. That's all the thing from Jamaica. All the hair products ever. Hairfinity. All those crazy things. I have tried every single one of them. And I realized that, you know what? Maybe some of us are just not blessed to have a full head of hair. Okay? And I accept it. And it doesn't really help with the fact that I have a huge forehead. Can you see it? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It's so prominent. But I love it. It's like one of the things I think, you know, makes me look very beautiful. And I'm very beautiful. And I know. Okay, so this is not me being arrogant. This is me just speaking things as it is. Sometimes that's all you need. You know, sometimes you have to believe in yourself and be confident. And those things that you think do not make you cool, look yourself in the mirror and begin to appreciate those things and love it. I've always thought my forehead makes me look cool. But that's not what we're talking about today. Let's not go off on the hair matter. This week... It's all about my single sisters, the single women out there. Draw your ear and listen to this vlog right now. You see, all this competition about this marriage business, everybody want to get married, everybody's just trying to outdo themselves getting married, everybody's just sleeping, waking up, married, 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 prayer list, marry, top five list, marry, everything you think, marry. I'm not saying that every single person out there is thinking about marriage, but trust me, I've heard that word so many times I decided to do a vlog about it. Lately, friends don't even tell themselves anymore when they are dating. They just surprise you, you know. This is someone that maybe you guys have been praying together. You guys are single together and you've been, and you've been burning the midnight oil, you know, praying. And you guys are always like, you know, hey, don't worry what happened for us. Every other person around us has gotten married and, you know, hey, we've got each other. And... You know, we're cool, you know, it's all right, you know. And all of a sudden, this same person comes to tell you two weeks before they're getting married and their excuse is they do not want to jinx it. I was listening to someone go on about how a friend of hers, this is like not a fake friend, though. this is like her friend, her five and six, um, you know, all of a sudden calls out one morning and says, uh, I just wanted to let you know that I'm getting married. And she's like, huh? Are you kidding? We still went to night video like two weeks ago. And why didn't you tell me, you know, who is this guy? Since when did you guys start dating? Where did you meet? Where have I been? Like, I see you almost every other day. When did you not work out with that guy? I told you. When, you know, you also had some funny issues, you told me. So when when were you dating? And, you know, the friend looked her in the face and said, well, I just decided to keep it quiet because I felt like, you know, sometimes when I talk about things, it just doesn't come to pass. And I just wanted to keep it quiet. And... Yeah, so I just wanted you to know it's nothing to do with you. And I thought, that is a fake friend. I'm sorry, but it's not about who marries first. You know, when did it become a race to who gets married first? And why is everyone all of a sudden so paranoid? There are a lot of single paranoid women out there. You know, oh my God, this person is hitched now. Oh, it's now remaining how many of us. Ah, hey, God will do our own. Mm -hmm. You know, mm. or the ones who will not start dating and not tell you. Is this your friend going to steal the man from you? Is this your friend going to turn witch and decide to, you know, sort of ruin your relationship? It's paranoia. It's what the society is doing to you. All of a sudden you feel, ah, don't tell anybody or this kind of thing. You just keep it. What if you are dating a serial killer? What if the guy is married? What if the guy has like six children somewhere else that you do not know about? People have thrown caution into the wind. It's now all about, mm, I mean, Mrs. It's all about, mm. I shall want to marry first. And then you now start doing that to your friends. Like, when did it become such a, oh my God, it's secretive. I'm dating someone and I don't want anybody to know because, oh my God, they're just going to jinx it and, you know, we're going to ruin my relationship. It's a lie. You are not confident. If you are confident about the situation, look, it will not turn you into a mad woman because that's what you have become. A mad woman who is things to... Who thinks the whole world is chasing her over this man matter? You say, man, your qualification on earth. If you don't have a man, will you die? You see, by force. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with wanting to get married. But I'm saying, when you now turn self-righteous, 
you know, the ones that will let you know they're dating and all of a sudden they become like this guru to why you're single. You know, you're thinking, hi, hi. Hmm. You know, sometimes you have to just settle, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, you're still on a long thing now. You're still looking for all those big boys. Just because it did not work out for you does not mean that you have to knock everybody else's hustle. Who told you that person is looking for a big boy? Like, I absolutely hate it when you hear cases of people that literally were in the same pan, you know? We grew up in the same hood. All of a sudden, you're trying to act all fancy. Like, look at you. Just five seconds ago, you were single just as I am. And now, because you have a relationship, now you believe that you're better than every other person. And now you're telling me why you think I'm single. Hello, if this guy did not show up three months ago or six months ago, you and I will still be singing the same damn song. So you need to come off your high horse and realize that the fact that you have a boyfriend or a fiancé or someone that you're getting married to right now does not make you better than the next person. Treat your friends better, single or not. Those ones that will now be telling you things like, ah, I'm praying with you. How far now? Any guys? Ah, look, just use me as a point of contact. Like, look at me. Me too. I thought it was almost finished for me. And all of a sudden, it happened for me. You know, you need to stop looking at the places that you're looking at. You know, me, we were in that circle together. It has now turned we were in that circle together. You know, I had to tell myself the truth all of a sudden. You're like, you need to tell yourself the truth. All these boys you're trying to hang out with will not marry you. Hey! I fear you. Who made you judge? Ah, if your relationship does not work out now, would we not be back in the same situation? Eh? People are absolutely losing their mind. If you start coding for your friends over a relationship, don't you think you're crazy? Like, I don't, I, I mean, I'm not saying, hey, tell everyone that wants to hear that you're dating someone, or hey, you know, every time you go out, it should be all about, ah, I'm dating this guy, this is my boyfriend, or this is who I'm dating right now. That's not what I'm saying. But then you shouldn't also become that annoying friend who now starts to see herself as better than, you know, your other friends. If they're your friends, if you guys break bread together and drink wine together, and you guys have been through thick and thin, a relationship shouldn't change that. And why would you think that your friends would jinx your luck with men? Who has bad luck because of men? People have pronounced all sorts of crazy things on themselves so because they are single. Oh, there's somebody doing me from my village. It's a family curse. People don't marry till a certain age. Oh, I don't want to jinx it. Oh, nobody's happy for me. Oh, everybody's wishing me single. Oh, I don't like to hang around pretty girls because they'll get all the men and I'll not be... Do you see that you're losing your mind? Do you see that you're actually going crazy? And being single is not that bad at the end of the day. You know, if you have great girlfriends and these are girlfriends that, you know, get you through the hard times, why would you now begin to code? And this is 2015, coding. All these girls that like to code their relationship. Nobody is saying go out there and let everybody know who you're dating. But you have to be careful as you are coding. Men now know that women are doing this, so I want to get married, so therefore I'm not telling anybody about us. I'm just praying about it. This is just my little secret. Let me just be praying to God. And I don't want my friends to know that I want this to work. And then the man might be running games. Not game -o games on you the man might have like three or four of you that man might be married you've not had cases of where girls meet guys and the guy is living a complete lie like literally lying about every single thing even his name is a lie like if you find out properly his name is a lie and then you make him you make it easy for the guy to deceive you because hold up you're not telling anyone and the people that can investigate for you to let you know if the guy is a 419 guy serial killer married man you know, basically a woman bitter. There are so many reasons why you should let your friends know who you're dating. All that, please don't tell anybody, oh, hmm, I found a guy. Don't tell that our other friend because I don't think she's happy for me. Do not let being single make you paranoid. You're losing your mind. And it's really not that serious because at the end of the day, you're going to get married and you forget this phase. And when you get married and see the problems that are in marriage, then you realize that you were only fooling yourself. It's not that serious. Nobody's wishing you ill. It's not the witches in your village. Trust me, it's just not your time. When it's your time, every single thing will work together to make sure that you know you find that great guy and you guys find yourself and things work together for you guys and you guys get married. So please say no to being paranoid. Say no to running from pillar to post. Say no to now cutting all your friends off and say no to cutting your friends off and being all sorts of shady because girl, you are being shady, okay? If any of my close friends pulls up on me two weeks before they're getting married, best believe I'm cutting your ass off because honey, I'm not the witch from your village that is chasing you. And two, 
why is this guy so special that you feel the need to hide him and everybody doesn't want you to be happy and everybody's just waiting for your downfall and ooh, ooh, boo -hoo. nobody wants to see the end of it look at your life hmm? look at your life look at what you're hiding you're coding oh because you're not somebody's girlfriend eh so what? what's the big deal single is not suicide Single is not the end of the world. The people who are loving it, they're single and they're loving every moment of it because they know that when it's time, things will work themselves out. You're making your friends feel bad. You are. You're not being a good friend. The guy you're dating, is he not even worried that he has not met any of your friends? Does he not think there's something wrong with you? You're acting all sorts of crazy and it's not good for you. That's all I'm going to talk to you guys about this week. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. I am a toaster with a double R. Until I come your way again, be good to one another. Resist the urge to be an annoying friend. Stop coding. That man might be a serial killer. That man might be a 419. That man might be a woman bitter. Chat with you guys next week.